the Pathé Gazette is privileged and honoured in presenting exclusively the Canadian government official commentary. The memorial was designed by the late Vernon March and has been executed at Farnborough, Kent, by him in collaboration with his brother Sidney and other members of the family. The group which is seen passing through the arch represents various units of the Canadian forces who took part in the Great War. The two symbolical figures which surmount the arch typify victory and liberty. The memorial is intended to symbolize the response of Canada. Let it not be thought that the memorial is a glorification of war. The purpose of the memorial is expressed by the following statement. The government feels that a monument should be erected in the capital of Canada. It is not the intention that this monument should glorify war or suggest the arrogance of a conqueror. While the spirit of victory is essential, it should be expressed so as to immortalize not only Canada's defenders, but convey a feeling of gratitude that out of this great conflict, a new hope has sprung for future prosperity under peaceful conditions. moving ceremony of all in the great square before the Parliament building is the unveiling of Canada's memorial to her war dead. A lasting symbol of the unity that bound the Empire in 1914 and binds it still. And His Majesty's words ring out loud and clear, a message to the world. Not by chance, for the crowning figure of peace and freedom appear side by side. Peace and freedom cannot long be separated. And without freedom, there can be no enduring peace, and without peace, no enduring freedom. 